Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Extra, 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 extra. We got some big news to talk about. As many of you have probably heard or seen, David Crumbshold is coming back to play Bernard the Elf on the Santa Claus's show on Disney+. Plus. And I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I kind of predicted this three months ago when I did my big deep dive, which you can watch right here, on the Santa Claus canon, and mainly focused on Bernard's absence in Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. So when this news dropped, my reaction wasn't like everyone else's, which was, huh? Mine was more of a cheerful Tim Allen Graham, more of like a, huh, 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 yeah, huh, huh, huh wasn't quite as, uh, it was more positive because I had already processed emotionally and was prepared for this news. And at the end of the video that I made, I pitched my story for the Santa Claus show that's currently in development at Disney Plus, and I was really proud of how it turned out. The storyboards were done by, and I'm very sorry if I butcher your name, Indra Mahana, who I hired on Fiverr, and they did such an awesome job on them. I can't do storyboards to save my life, so... They came in so clutch. I don't really want this video to be super long. I basically came on here to break the news to you and also shamelessly plug a pitch that I already put in one of my other videos because I want more people to see it. I'm sorry. So if you know people that are interested in the show, send them this video because it's much shorter than my other video. I think my other video is great, but you can just send them this one and make them watch my pitch. Unfortunately, at the end of my last video, I did tell Disney that they could have my pitch for free, which was a pretty big misstep by me. Not the greatest move by me, so I can't really sue them if they steal my idea, but at least I would have an army of Bernard fans behind me to defend me to the death. And if not, maybe a like Disney could give us like an Applebee's gift card to just kind of make things right. Anyway, that's all I got. If you're interested in the full Bernard deep dive video, it's on my channel and you should definitely check it out. And obviously as this show comes out and there are new episodes. I will be covering each and every one of them, or at least the ones with Bernard in them. Hopefully it's all of them. So there will be plenty of Bernard content on this channel in the future. So you have nothing to worry about. But for right now, here's the pitch. We start on an old Santa Claus. His beard is even wider than normal and he's balding. Clearly he's past his prime. He looks down on the factory, knowing that this adventure could end any day. He knows he's getting older, and he can't do this forever. Mrs. Claus approaches him, knowing that something is up. Santa explains what's going on, but Mrs. Claus reminds him to enjoy the moment and not to dwell on the future. Santa then mentions that he might need to start thinking about a potential replacement, which Mrs. Claus is appalled by. She mentions that he shouldn't try to meddle with destiny, and reminds him of both the toy Santa Claus in Santa Claus 2, and Jack Frost in Santa Claus 3. She's also clearly concerned with what her life looks like if she loses Santa. Santa listens and agrees, but he just can't stop looking at the workshop and the idea of leaving these elves with someone he doesn't trust as Santa. He excuses himself and says he needs some fresh air. He heads outside, gives one of his reindeer a carrot, and goes and sits down in his sled. He looks down at his sled controls and sees a contraption that's attached to his sled that's pretty dusty. It's the Elf Tracker 3000. This device was used to pick up and find elves that would go scout out for the new Santa, as we saw in the original Santa Claus movie. It could also be used to find elves that were maybe lost in a blizzard, ran away, etc. However, it had been rarely used with Scott Calvin with how much of a tight ship he ran at the North Pole. Santa blew the dust away and hesitated. He clearly had something on his mind. He takes a deep breath and powers on the Elf Tracker 3000. He then begins to type B E R N A R D. Suddenly, the sleigh begins to shake and goes into autopilot mode. Santa grabs the reins and the sleigh takes off. As Santa begins to fly away, he takes one final look at the North Pole, not knowing if this will be the last time he sees it. Then as the sleigh passes the camera, the title of the show appears, The Santa Claus, The Search for Bernard. As the show continues, Santa finds Bernard, who's become a hermit living by himself. We figure out why they had a falling out, and Santa continuously tries to convince Bernard that he should be Santa. 
The only problem is that if Bernard becomes Santa, he will no longer be immortal like every other elf, and has to contemplate if he would rather be Santa or live forever. <laughs>